as promised, here's our next video um, on using CorelDRAW to create artwork and take it into our Floriani software. The first time this, we used this design, I saved it as a JPEG in CorelDRAW, we brought it into the Floriani software as a backdrop image, and then we manually digitized it um, using that image as a, as a guide. We manually digitized it and created a three color design out of it. Now what I have here in CorelDRAW uh, last time, since we just exported it as a JPEG, uh, we didn't need to worry about it. But what we have here is we actually, I look at this as three elements. We have a star uh, that is solid. Then we have uh, the same star as an outline. And then we have the G on top. And I'll put those all back together. And those three elements are going to be basically what we're going to convert into stitches in the Floriani software. Since we're exporting artwork this time, it needs to be a vector file to bring, be brought into the Floriani software and be able to convert it. So we're going to save this or export this as an EPS file. So we'll go up here to File, down to Export, and we're going to call it star.eps. Um, so we've selected here in our um, save type as EPS file. And we'll go ahead and click Save or Export. And in this box here, um, the default settings will work fine. So we're not going to make any changes. We'll go ahead and let that export um, to my desktop. Once we've got that exported, we're going to switch over here to the Floriani software, bring that up. We've got a clean page here to start with. Now with that um, exported to my desktop, I'm going to go up here on the Floriani to File, come down to Import Artwork. Now remember, last time we loaded the backdrop. This time it's Import Artwork and we find the file here on my desktop star.eps and we go ahead and open it up now it brings in um, the image that we just exported or the artwork that we exported actually and you'll see it's three elements now anytime I've ever imported anything it comes in as one color I don't know if that's what's intended but that's always what happens to me so I'm just first thing I'm gonna do is select each one of these elements and I'm gonna go ahead and make each one of these a different color so everything shows up. Our next element uh, that I want to change is the G and so we get that selected. We go up here to commands and I'll make that color 3 which is a green color. Apply that. So we've actually, I left the um, outline of that star black. That's the way it came in and I did the, the fill here um, in, in red. So we've got the three elements here and one by one we're going to go ahead and it'll go a little bit quicker this time because we're just going to select each one. Now the first one is the star itself, the solid area, and um, I'm just going to select that right over here on my sequence view, highlight that, and right click on it, and we'll just go right up here to convert to, and we're going to pick complex fill. It's the area that we're working with here is about it's about a two and a half inch star so it has to be a fill stitch so we're going to select complex fill um, we could probably just make it a satin and make it to Tommy stitch out of it but um, I usually make it a fill to start with and that's why if there was ever any editing to do we'd already have that complex fill um, to work with so we've got that we've got that made as you can see this is a complex fill now um, I'll turn on the the 3D view and um, you can see that so the next thing we'd want to do is select this outline that went around that and uh, there's a several ways we can do that I'm gonna do it like we did in the other video only this what this time there's no manual digitizing involved we'll just select that go up to convert to and we'll convert it to a steel stitch and you can see that put a nice thick border around there um, probably a little thicker than I would like so like in the last one we're going to drop that back to about 2.5 millimeters and as you can see um, our points here these are flat and this one is pointed again sort of the problem we ran into in the last video uh, we're going to fix it have to fix it probably a little bit different way instead of square corners this time we're going to go to extended corners and click apply after we do that you can see that all of our points on our star now come out all the way to the point and that all looks pretty good here so the last thing we need to do is we're going to select 
that G, we'll select the artwork over here in the sequence view. We just right click and then we go up to convert to. Now that G would be better stitched in a satin stitch. If it was a lot bigger we may want to actually do it in a fill stitch. Um, a little bit bigger with that fat of a letter um, it would probably be fine. But we're going to select satin stitch and we'll see how that decided to stitch that. Not too bad, not the most um, ideal thing. We could, we could work on that a little bit if we wanted to. Um, as you can see that satin stitch coming around here made a separate column up here across the top and it put a little thing here to create that bump. That would probably stitch, that would be acceptable for me, maybe not absolutely ideal, but that would, that would definitely work. So that's how quickly you could go through and take artwork and convert it into stitches as long as you have vector artwork that you're bringing into the Floriani software. So like I say, that goes actually quicker than manually digitizing the um, elements from a backdrop image, but overall um, both are useful. So hope everybody learned something from this video. Um, there's probably other ways to do things, but this is a good start. So thanks a lot.